Stardust. Today we are going to be making the most cutest, kind of biggest Easter bunny basket. Literally, it's going to be it's so cute. I am so nervous. I don't know if you guys can tell because I don't know if it's going to come out. But if it does, you guys will be seeing this video. You are going to need a basket of your choice. I'm going to do a medium one. You can do the large one if you like. We're also going to use some ribbon, zip ties, glue sticks, and of course, our little microfiber dusters. Everything is from the $1.25 tree as always. And we can't forget about our... Post it. Mm. Damn. Ready? Oh, you don't know, Mom. What like the was that? You know she's nervous. <laughs> so the first process in making this basket, we're gonna make the handle. So what we did was we took this handle off of our basket, kind of to measure it. So we're gonna get the pull noodle like that. I am gonna want it a little bigger this way. What we did was we put one and kind of towards the bottom of the noodle and then measured it like that so then we marked it here and that's what we're gonna cut hopefully we're right i am just gonna use a regular handy dandy knife and i am going to cut right where we marked it Ooh. and make sure to not try and chop your table yeah and i just did that so it's gonna be like this we just kind of cut it a little bit more than half Period. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut it down the middle like this because I'm only going to use half of this noodle. So this is what I'm scared. Wait, we're gonna... we, you want to trace it first? You want to trace it? Yeah, so like you have a line to follow. Juliet had the idea of tracing it, so we're going to let her do that since she has a better, how do you call it? A steady hand. Yeah, she does have a steady hand, not like mine. Now I'm going to cut it right in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are gonna cover these handles with those little dusters. Once you're done cutting the handle to your basket, we're gonna move on to the next step. What we're gonna do now is get a ribbon and we're just gonna kind of weave it in and out. I think it's going to be a lot easier to kind of fold the ribbon in half since this is a smaller basket and the holes are very small. So what I did was I cut this ribbon just to try it out. It was a little short, so we're gonna use this to measure this ribbon, but we need it longer. So we're just gonna measure it down like this. Even if it's too long, you can always cut it after you're done. So now we're just gonna fold this ribbon in half. It's gonna look like this. Looks a little funky, but it's all right. We'll fix that. I'm gonna stick it in one hole and I'm kind of gonna skip a hole. So I'm putting it in this hole and skipping that hole, skipping this hole, putting it in that hole. Okay guys, I am not going to lie to you. This weaving, cutting, and gluing literally made me sweat. And Juliet got a little creative over here with the extra ribbon. Here. So we're gonna go ahead and get our little dusters and we're gonna cut them in half. These are gonna go around the rim of our basket. If you can see right here, it's in parts, right? So there's one, two, three, and then four. So we're gonna cut it right in the middle or try to cut it right in the middle. I don't want to cut the fluffies.
We're gonna start with the back of this basket. As you can tell, this is going to be our back. And we're gonna get our little duster and we're gonna put it right on top of this rim. And just kind of push it along like that. And then we'll fluff it up as we go. It's gonna fall apart because we did cut it. was enough for this rim and we just need a little piece right here so I'm going to cut this we're gonna go ahead and start on our handle this is where these big dusters are gonna come in handy we are not gonna be able to cut them I was thinking of gluing them but as soon as we put the hot glue onto the noodle it kind of like started to melt yes it was gonna disappear so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the zip ties on this. I'm gonna put it right in the middle. We're gonna put them all down actually. Yeah, so we have it lined up. We're gonna put them just like that. You can even overlap them too. Yeah, just kind of like small. that. And now we're gonna get the zip ties and we're just gonna close her up. Hey, that looks good. Huh? So it's gonna look like this. You see how you can't see the noodle no more? We're gonna overlap this one onto the bottom one. We're gonna cut this end off, Beautiful. just like that. We're gonna fix it up. I'm gonna cut all of these off as low as I can get it. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you don't cut your fluffies. I'm gonna fluff it up. That's pretty. Now we're gonna get our basket again and we're going to zip tie this to this, just like that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your zip tight and you're gonna go underneath this ribbon right here. We're gonna kind of put it in through like this mm -hmm. and then this one through the other side so it can meet on the inside. See, here's one part. Let me find the other one. And we're gonna put it in the little hole and we're gonna tie the sucker down just like that. Hell yeah. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the other side so we're gonna turn it my way. We're gonna. Put it in one way, grab it, it, and put the other end the other way so we can meet up here. Now we're just gonna cut that access zip tie off. Muy bien. Look at that. La, 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 la. Look at her, she's a big, she's a big kid going to go get some Easter eggs. I'm a big kid now. Hey. Now we're on to the last part of this video. We originally were gonna do ears with the foam and kind of like the duster. We did that and it did not work. They literally look like stubby little feet and it was not cute at all. I'll post a picture somewhere around here so you guys can see it. So what we ended up doing was improvising. We got our little bunny ears that we had used from the last video. Now the trick to hold these to your, your handle we're gonna have to go inside of the duster and look for like a little area like this. So that way it's gonna be easier for us to glue it. Cause if you glue it directly onto the hair or the fuzzy part of this, it's no bueno, it's not gonna work and it will fall apart. Yes. What about you?
you, Miss Sydney. Give me that high five. You better come and get it. Come and get it. I think it came out so adorable. I'm not gonna lie. I was a little bit nervous making this sucker because it was a little hard and a little challenging. And I want you guys to know that we attempted it, we succeeded, and so can you. And don't you ever forget that. If we can do it, you can too. And I love you guys. We really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.